How you doing guys? Just wanted to do a quick video on uh, what I think of this new Mike Man Genie plugin. Um, I put it through a quick run through of a, a metal test to see if it could metal, which it did. Um, and I'll just give you a quick rundown of what I think about the plugin and uh, how I got it to sound like this. It sounds pretty incredible right out of the box. Um, I didn't have to do a whole lot to it to get it to uh, really punch through a mix. Um, it's probably the best sounding plugin I've ever heard uh, straight out of the box. And um, for anybody wondering if it can metal, it definitely can metal. Um, as you can tell here. So I think it sounds incredible, but I'll do a quick run through and show you the different uh, drums that are uh, contained in here. It has, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight snares. Um, and it has four kicks um, of varying sizes from 18 to 22, 24, and then the big old 26. So 26 is the one I think I used. Um, it's got uh, four gongs and then four racks. Has these uh, octobongs, I think they're called at the top here. I didn't use those, but uh, I can definitely see a context where I would. Um, you get what is this? We got a stack three, stack one, splash one. Um, this ride I didn't use. It comes with two rides. Um, I like this one better, which is the Zildjian Z320. And this one is the Ping 20. Um, it's got a couple... Uh, China's here, the China 1, the China 2, I really like this China 2, a Zildjian Z3 19 inch. Um, got some crashes here. Um, all the symbols you can't change out, the symbols are what the symbols are. Um, it has two hi-hats um, with all of the actual uh, articulations for each one. So you can mix or match <clears throat> or pick the one that you think sounds the best. You got this guy, which is the third hi-hat. Um, and then what's this one? I think this is like a fourth hi-hat. But these two have uh, these two have all the articulations. I think these are just a single hit. Um, but uh, what we got over here is a splash three. We got a uh, stack five, stack four, stack two, and splash two. Got your uh, tambourine. You got some sticks on the floor here. And you got Mangini himself. One, two, three. If you have any use for those, uh, I didn't in the metal context, but I could see how those could be fun. Now the kicks themselves, um, the 18, it's got more of like a boom to it. They all sound really good. That one's beefy than the big boy, big old big boy. And then reference snare one, sensitone, nickel plated, ultra cast aluminum, uh, maple reference. Then they got the mahogany masterworks, birch, and then the Mike Mangini Design Masterworks. 
which sounds great. <clears throat> Got a nice pop to it. And you also have this uh, popcorn snare, um, another Mike Mangini signature Masterworks 10 by 6.2. Um, you got Tom Wands, a six by seven, eight by seven, ten by eight, twelve by nine, fourteen by twelve, sixteen by fourteen, twenty by fourteen, and eighteen by fourteen. So that is everything that comes with it. Uh, you obviously have uh, the different um, kits you can pick. The no Boost, Unmixed, Mike Mangini's, a Deep Rock, a tight kit. Uh, Mangini played a four-piece. All these come with No Boost or Unmixed. Everything in the center and then the three kick setups, which I'm not quite sure how those work yet. I haven't delved too much into it yet to to figure that out. But uh, yeah, so it sounds really good. I uh, multi-tracked everything out and uh, just did a little bit to, I didn't have to do anything to the snare little bit to the kick just a little slight EQ cut out some of the, the mids and the mud and uh, get the click to pop out a little tiny bit of hard bass for a little extra little extra oomph there and then for the double kick section where it gets a little crazy I just have a multi band on there that, so it doesn't get too out of hand as you can see, just drops it, cuts a lot of that out. Um, let me take off my verbs. I have a drum slap. Uh, let me, uh, I'll solo those so you can hear what they're doing. So it's just a fat drum just to give it a little bit more width, a little bit more ambience. The slap, just a little kind of slap back reverb, give it some more of a real feel, I guess you would say. Uh, parallel is just, you know, and you just mix that into taste. Just a real slappy, kind of gives it some sustain. Uh, the room that came with it sounds really good. Um, I just threw a little smash and grab on here to bring it out. Uh, let's give it a little bit of compression. Other than that, I didn't do anything to the room. Um, the shells. These are just the shells. But I have some uh, little virtual mix. I got the Nolly para, uh, Parallel Compression and EQ. But I always cut back on the 12K. I don't really like 12K on my drums. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of the, the parallel mixed in. Mix knobs at 30%. Um, a little 110. Not doing anything on this one. And then a little about 6K. And I, I have the trim here just in case I need to trim it back, but I didn't have to in this case. And that's it for the the shells themselves. I just did a little bit to the kick to get it to work in a, you know, just double kick speed metal type of deal. For the brass, <clears throat> sounded good out of the gate. I just take a little bit of this, around 6k. Um, I just drop it because I don't really like bright sounding uh, symbols at all so just to make them a little darker then I got a little C2 on here for parallel just to kind of even everything out and good old trusty soothe the symbol smooth preset and that's all I did for that and then Uh, 
I got nothing on my, uh, all this stuff's turned off except uh, my limiter and uh, clipper. Give it some volume, everything else on my master is shut off. Um, I have an instrumental bus, and this is just a nollie trick, where you just get at the pretty fast attack, super fast relief, just have it catch those snares every time, and then I run all the instrumental through that, and that keeps my, my snare above everything else, and then the FG red trick that's mixed in, about 21%. Give it a little bit more life and then on my actual drum bus i got the good old tape machine might be a little too much there into an fg gray for some uh drum bus compression slower attack auto release i never want to hit 3 dB. This is doing nothing. And then just a little clip to shave off those peaks. But yeah, not much to get it to sound like this at all. And then if I drop the easy bass, my bass widener. This is just what I, I threw together to test it out in a metal context and give me something to mix it to. I don't know, let me go what you guys think. I think it came out great. Um, it's probably my uh, favorite Mixwave library so far. I own Gojira, uh, Weinberg, um, and Gojira is usually my go-to. I love the uh, kicks and snare in that one. Um, Weinberg is is okay. Um, the symbols are a little too uh, tinny for me. Ingo Gira and uh, Weinberg, but I was actually really surprised how good the symbols sound in this one. Uh, you can make them just dark enough to match what I like. It doesn't sound so thin. I like a little more beef, but... Um, still uh, some separation so you can kind of hear everything. But yeah, I think, I think it sounds great. That ride, I really, really love the ride in this man. Toms. I got enough attack to them, enough sustain, but uh, not enough to where it becomes overwhelming. It sounds really good. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, if you guys want some reviews on uh, the Gojira or the Weinberg, let me know. I'll do something similar, but if not, alright, you have a good day.